Come on, lift your voices and sing it, even when I don't see it. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, even when I don't see it. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. Waymaker. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. That is who you are. You are my way maker, miracle worker. Listen, yeah, you hear the Lord saying, listen, just relax, be still and know that he is God. God's working on your behalf right now. God is making a way for you, my friend, where there seems to be no way. Put your trust in him. The Spirit of God is talking to someone this morning. Listen, the Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will direct your paths. He will direct you. Sing it with me, even when I don't see it. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, even when I don't see it. Come on, church. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop. Even, even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, even when I don't see it. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You are here. You are here. You're moving in this place. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. You're healing every heart. I worship you. I love you, God. I worship you. You are my way maker, Jesus. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. Come on, lift your hands to heaven. Come on, just begin to give and praise. We bless you this morning. Yes, we worship you, Jesus. We worship you. We worship you. This is for somebody, even when I don't see it. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop. Even, even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. It's here, the book we've been waiting for. Seven Ways the Holy Spirit Speaks to Us. A complete guide to hearing God. Pastor Sean Pinner gives readers life-changing keys on exploring, understanding, and experiencing the voice of God, which every believer can hear on a daily basis. Packed with powerful revelations, this book shares the methods, means, and motivations for the voice of God, and provide answers to questions like how to hear God, recognize His voice, tap into His guidance, and much more. Receive confidence on hearing God through the Word, dreams and visions, divine impressions, and more. And discover a much deeper and more intimate walk with the Lord. Order Seven Ways the Holy Spirit Speaks Today, available on Amazon and all major book suppliers. Your journey into the powerful realms of God's voice starts here.
Father, as we get ready to go into the Word of God on this morning, visit your people, minister to them, every man, every woman, every boy, every girl, under the sound of my voice. Let the Word of God come alive. Take the Word of God and feed your people this morning. Lord, you taught us to pray, give us this day our daily bread. Oh God, if there is ever a time we need the word of God, it is now. For Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Your word, O oh Lord, is a lamp unto our feet and a light to our path. Lift burdens on this morning. Mend together broken hearts. Bring direction into the lives of your people. Someone under the sound of my voice all this morning, you've started to give up all hope. You've started to really, you've been in a fight, but the Holy Ghost want me to tell you all hope is not lost. God is still on the throne. He is the King of all kings, and He is the Lord of all lords. God's going to bring you out. He is a miracle worker. He haven't changed. He is still the same yesterday, today, and forever everything's gonna be all right in your life put your trust in God trust him he knows what he's doing my God so on this morning as we continue in our series on the life of David on this morning we are talking about the anointing opens doors you got to realize this when God anoints you you don't have to try and there, there are times you got to do certain things, but there's also times when God wants you to just wait on him, trust him to open certain doors. You can't make a door open. Are you hearing me? You can't make things happen. Only God can do it for you. And this is what I want you to see in the life of David shortly after he was anointed by Samuel. God began to transition David out of being a shepherd boy into king, into the palace where King Saul was. Glory to God. You know, I've been hearing this word a whole lot as I teach and I believe the Holy Ghost is talking to a group of people. You are in transition. God's about to bring you from watching over a few sheep into giving you a huge responsibility. But because you have been faithful over a few things. This is the word of God. So the Bible says as we can Continue in First Samuel 16, we see David was anointed. The Spirit of God came on David, and we also see the Spirit of God departing from King Saul. And when the Holy Ghost leaves you, a demon is going to fill that spot. First Samuel 16, beginning at 15, and Saul's servant said unto him, Behold, now an evil spirit from God troubles you. Now that term means God allowed an evil spirit to trouble him. If God ain't there, you are wide open for the enemy to do what he wants in your life. Verse 16, let our Lord now command thy servants which are before thee to seek out a man who is a cunning player on a harp. And it shall come to pass when the evil spirit from God is upon you that he shall play with his hand and you shall be well. You be made whole. And Saul said unto his servants, provide me now a man that can play well and bring him to me. Watch God at work now because we see the anointing is already on David. Watch God begin to transition him and also position him to bring the prophetic word over his life to pass. Then answered one of the servants and said, Behold, I have seen a son of Jesse the Bethlehemite that is, a, that is cunning in playing and a mighty valiant man and a man of war and prudent in matters and a comely person and the Lord is with him. Now, wait a minute. You see, when David was out there writing his songs and, and God anointed David, David was on the backside of the desert. No doubt he would play probably for his family and play maybe for other people. He did not realize that some people in Saul's palace was taking note of the anointing of the Holy Ghost on his life. Why? Because when David played, he played as unto the Lord. Everything he did, 
He did it with all his might, and he did it unto the Lord with a pure heart. He wasn't trying to be somebody, but when the Holy Ghost anoints you, you begin to stand out like a sore thumb. People can recognize that God is with you and that God's hand is on your life, and they recognize, man, that man is anointed. When somebody who got the Holy Ghost stands up, my God, you can tell when somebody who is anointed stands and open them out and begin to preach or say why the spirit of the living God floods the entire place are you hearing me if you got it you got it if you ain't got it you can't pretend like you got it because people can tell the difference my God and they recognize David was anointed he didn't tell everyone he was anointed they could see it. They could sense the presence of God on this young man. Wherefore, in verse 19, Saul sent messengers unto Jesse and said, Send me David, your son, which is with the sheep. Somebody is taking note of you, friend. Whatever you are doing, keep doing it as unto the Lord. Don't try to be seen of men. Men will see you later when God begins to raise you up. You don't have to try to be somebody or try to, listen, put your trust in God. God knows how to take you from the backside of the desert like Moses and raise you up. Moses was a shepherd, so was David. Wow, a lot of similarities there. And now God's about to transition him. So David is being sent for by King Saul. My God. Little did he know that somebody was taking note of him. David was just doing what he did, being himself, loving God with all of his heart. But somebody was taking note. And Jesse took a donkey laden with bread and a bottle of wine and a lamb and sent them by David his son unto Saul. Jesse's following protocol. Jesse was not a foolish man. He knew exactly that, listen, if he's going in the front of the king, he has to, he has to carry something. He has to carry a gift. And David came to Saul. Wow. His first time in the palace. Wow. Greatness is beginning to come to pass in his life. He is walking through an open door. He didn't have to force this door open. The Spirit of God on his life began to make things happen. And David came to Saul and stood before him. The Holy Spirit, the anointing on his life is what threw the door to the palace wide open. Oh, glory to God. And he loved him greatly and David became his armor bearer. And Saul sent to Jesse saying, let David, I pray thee, stand before me, for he has found favor in my sight. Not only does the anointing open doors, but the anointing will grant you favor with people in authority. The anointing will grant you favor with kings and queens and people in the highest position on this planet. Are you listening to me this morning? He'll raise you up and make you the head and not the tail. When the anointing is on you, li listen, Pharaoh even said it about Joseph in Genesis. Pharaoh said, can we find such a man as this in whom is the Spirit of God? So it is the anointing of the Holy Ghost that grants you favor. It's the anointing of the Holy Ghost that opens doors. It's it's not by power, it's not by might, but it is by my spirit, says the Lord. And it came to pass when the evil spirit from God, or which God allowed, remember, was upon Saul, that David took that harp like he did on the backside of the desert, and he played with, with his hand, and he was playing under that anointing. So as he began to play under that anointing, the Spirit of God came down, and Saul was refreshed and well, and the evil spirit departed from Saul. And this is why we love worship. We love to worship him. Because as you worship God, the presence of God the presence of God begins to come. The anointing of God begins to descend. You know, the Bible says, come into his presence with singing. And this is why we love to worship him. And this was something that was on David's life. As he worshiped God, the anointing of the Holy Ghost would be made manifest. The presence of God would come down. And demons could not stay in the atmosphere where David was playing or leading worship or singing unto the Lord. My God, my God, 
my God, let the reign of your presence, glory to Jesus. Let the reign of your presence fall on me. Come on. Every day that I live, with every breath I breathe, sing it with me. Let the rain of your presence fall on me. I love you, Master. Everywhere that I go, let your presence flow. Rain on me. Come on and sing it with me. Let the rain, let the rain of your presence fall on me. Every day that I live, with every breath I breathe, let the rain of your presence fall on me. Everywhere that I go, Lord, let your presence flow, rain on me. Love divine, joy unspeakable. Joy unspeakable, overflow, in my soul, this heart of mine is refreshed and at rest in your presence, in your presence, rain on me, let the rain Lord, we cover your people in the blood of Jesus on this morning. Lord, let the anointing of the Holy Spirit open doors for your people on this morning that are closed be in, in their faces. Lord, open it. You said you have the keys of death, hell, and the grave. Doors you open, no man can shut. And we pray in the name of Jesus that the anointing of the Spirit of God would open doors for your people and grant them favor. Cause people to recognize them who normally wouldn't even pay them attention or give them the time of day. Raise your people up. Begin to transition them from being a shepherd into being a great leader. Bring them into their palace, God. Bring them into a different season. There's a shift happening in the lives of many people. That's why the Holy Ghost want me to do this series. There is a shift. Just lift your hands to heaven and say, Lord, I receive the shift. I receive it. I'm not going to fight it. I surrender. I surrender to the shift. I surrender, God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen, friends, we want to give you an opportunity on this morning to support the preaching of the gospel and the word of God. To do so, you can visit us online right now at seanbinder.net forward slash give. seanbinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash seanpinder ministries. paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give through the ministry Zell account. Our Zell email address is info at seanpinder.net. Info at seanpinder.net. You can also give through the ministry cash app account. That address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. The dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give by mailing your donations into the ministry just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas, 75070. And never forget, we are praying for you. Me and my lovely, beautiful wife, Pastor Amy, we are praying for you. We love you. And we are believing God that he is going to shift you and transition you from out of that shepherd position over a few sheep into becoming a great leader like he did in the life of David. And remember, join us on tomorrow as we talk about a breakthrough anointing. We love you.